I think that we could all say here finally that two of the most failed divisions at the Walt Disney Company such as Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios are showing no signs of a resolution at all for 2025, let alone for 2026 at that, which by the way is the very year that Bob Iger plans to step down. It's very possible that we're going to get an even worse CEO to take his place. We'll have to wait and see exactly what happens there. But focusing on showrunner and director Leslie Headland of the Acolyte series and how terrible the marketing campaign has been so far with the trailers, the TV spots, and even the exclusive clip attached to the Phantom Menace 25th anniversary re-release that nobody really sat and waited for in theaters, which is very revealing by the way. It goes to show you what the current status of the Acolyte really is at this point. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So we all know that people out there like Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland have been endlessly falling into damage control for the Acolyte. They will defend this thing at all costs. And we already know that Bob Iger was behind many of the marketing strategies behind the Acolyte. He was the one directly responsible for really kind of telling Lucasfilm to essentially delay the first trailer for nearly a whole year since it debuted back, I believe it was in April of 2023 during Star Wars Celebration. We didn't get that trailer until just recently, and then we got a second one. And this all, by the way, took place in just a matter of a couple of months before the June 4th release date. Now, focusing on Headland, there's been a lot of drama happening behind the scenes after she got fired and removed from several Star Wars projects after the Acolyte nonsense, after all the backlash becoming way too strong for Disney even to handle. That really just goes to show you exactly what's going on here. Now, what Leslie Headland had to deliver is very revealing. Now, of course, with Bob Iger and the board endlessly falling into damage control for the Walt Disney divisions, one major development now heavily involves Hedlund, the showrunner and director of The Acolyte, where she recently ran into further damage control for the series as backlash grows even stronger. Hedlund delivered the following after she was fired and removed from said projects. I'm a damn woman who understands the difference between a fan and one who pretends to be, and I think we are endlessly dealing with loud fans that feel entitled to this thing that George built years ago that has been long overdue for change. I had many conversations with Disney and many of those conversations recently just fell flat because you know, studio interference is a real thing in this industry and it can most definitely take a hit at your confidence level. The growing problem that we are dealing with in this industry right now are both the fandoms and the studios and how many times and more often than not, studios I think just cave too easily to taking sides with the loud noisy minority of many different fandoms out there. There. I will be honest, some of the things I have been involved in, I'm not involved in anymore, and a lot of it had to do with this constant endless outrage from fans who believe that Star Wars belongs to them as if they own it. I think any filmmaker will understand that it's not about the fans, it never was. It's about the creator and their vision to do what they want, and if that results in a fan divide, then that's their problem. This is what I, of course, looked up to Ryan Johnson for with his film, The Last Jedi. He made so many bold choices with Luke and the story that it was deeply inspiring me for me to follow that same route and how I could also make certain connections to his film in order for me to pay respect to him giving me that confidence. Creative differences happen all the time in every studio, and I have dealt with my fair share of that, and I really can't go into those details just yet, but maybe someday I will. The fans are to blame for many things. This is why we have seen Lucasfilm announce projects then cancel projects, because this fandom is so unpredictable. However, my argument is that you have to pay loose, uh, close attention to the fans that you are only dealing with a minority of fans that really like to make so much noise to make them appear to be the majority. I think with the Acolyte Season 1, we are going to prove every one of the naysayers wrong about what they think the Acolyte is or what it's about. So many like to claim that we are focusing on some form of ideology, and this is absolutely a ridiculous thing to claim or to say about Lucasfilm's grasp on Star Wars. There really is no such thing there. 
all we are doing is focusing on different communities and how we can represent those. People seriously don't understand Kathleen Kennedy and all the amazing things that she has done for Star Wars over the years and the Skywalker saga. I just have to say, all of that is blown out of proportion that Kathy did a disservice to characters like Luke and the story of the Skywalkers. Now guys, let me say one thing about Leslie Headland again. Now, we already know that she, as far as I see things, is a whole lot more extreme than Kathleen Kennedy ever was. I pointed this out several times, this is exactly why. Kennedy felt she was a great fit for Lucasfilm, a great fit for Star Wars, and these are the types of people that you hire. This, these are the types of people that Lucasfilm hires to, you know, market their series and or movies or to promote their projects. The way that they speak, they all seemingly talk the same, all copy and paste words and scenarios, the way that they go about saying things. It's all about a minority, it's all about loud, noisy, entitled fans, you know, feeling like things belong to them, yada yada, right? And this is the same exact situation that we have dealt with before in the past from Charmina Obeyed Chinoy when she got a lot of backlash for the Rey Star Wars movie, which by the way is still happening, that is still going forward. Unfortunately, yes it is, but they still want to actually test it to see how it does. I think it's going to be another complete disaster to tell you the truth. But focusing here on Leslie Headland again, alright, she goes on to conclude, Fans need to wake up and realize it's all just a fictional story for entertainment and doesn't impact one's life, so just enjoy the fact that you have Star Wars to begin with and that it exists from studios like Lucasfilm putting in the effort to bring it to life. So basically what Headland is saying there is eat the garbage and enjoy it. That's basically what it boils down to, enjoy the garbage and if you don't, there's going to be nothing. So, I think at the same exact time, this is just going to show you that a lot of these Lucasfilm hires, they tend to be very stubborn individuals that really don't care about what kind of fan response, you know, uh, they get at the end of the day. They just deem it as completely false and a minority so that they can cope with the fact that, you know, they're dealing with the majority is the reality. I mean, we have seen a ratio across the board for all of the Acolyte trailers and the TV spots that we have never seen before under Disney Star Wars. What does that say? Well, it all has a lot to do with how the agenda, the message is so clear this time. It's so massive to the point that it's not even vague anymore. And that's why you're getting such a large response, such a large backlash, even bigger than The Last Jedi before it debuted. That really goes to show you what the current status is of Disney Star Wars and everything happening over at Lucasfilm. So again, uh, we know that there's been a lot of scenarios, so to speak, happening over at Lucasfilm. We talked about this. Hedlum was fired and removed from numerous projects, some of which were considered Acolyte spin-offs, others of which, of course, were the Acolyte Season 2 and even Marvel projects that she was going to expand to. But beyond that, we know that these are the types of people that Disney tends to hire and it has to come to a full stop. You know, I don't really see any kind of resolution in sight for Lucasfilm to begin with for the years to come with everything that they're putting out. You know, the Ray movie says all, uh, everything related to Jedi Prime says all as well. So anyway guys, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.